Hello. How are you? Sorry, you've caught me in the middle of doing my makeup. Do you love me? So I've been gone for a minute and I wanted to do a cheeky little video kind of updating you all on like where I've been because honestly the past couple of months have genuinely been like some of the most stressful months of my life for like no reason. So I wanted to kind of explain that whilst I do my makeup because I'm getting ready to go and see f***ing Blackpink. Like what the hell? But yeah, so where do I even f***ing start? So the main reason that I've kind of been gone, we had to move house. You might be able to tell if you're an avid watcher of the Chan that this isn't my usual room. The London market right now is f***ing shit. This camera angle is also f***ing shit. My name is Kendall. I mean, it's kind of always hard to move in London, but we basically just kept getting our hopes that we've been looking since like early April because we had to move by June 1st. So we thought we were like proper ahead of the, ahead of the gun? Is that the same? <laughs> ahead of the curve. Why did I say ahead of the gun? But I guess London had other ideas because it was f***ing so stressful every place that we found like ended up falling through because also we were having such issues because we're all technically different households they have to have something called a HMO license because obviously none of us are related or in relationships or anything like that which I've never really ran into such an issue with this because that was part of the reason that we couldn't find a place as well like all of these places just wanted families like oh my god it was so annoying finding a place that we really liked and then being like no hegemo sorry and we were like <laughs> and yeah we found this place that we were really keen on and it seemed like it was gonna work out for us all and stuff and like the oh my god the estate agent was so annoying like at first we thought she was really fun like when we we're on the phone we were like having a little gig with her you know what i mean um oh my god you know what i mean <laughs> but she just ended up being really shit because she just wasn't communicative with us and like the landlord like wasn't getting back in touch with her and they weren't really doing anything about it long story short we found a place yeah the stress of the move i just couldn't think about anything like i couldn't think about anything else i felt so bad i ended up being also just like a bad friend i was like neglecting relationships and stuff just because i was so fucking stressed and then we moved and it was great but uh it didn't stay great for very long because then we got bed bugs and if you don't know about bed bugs they're fucking like just really hard to get rid of so we had to get like someone to come in and like fumigate them and it wasn't the house that had them and it wasn't us that had them we think it might have been the moving van that we used because also he turned up three and a half hours late on the day so fucking jarring we were just sat around waiting for him and like obviously we had been so stressed about this move for so long we were so excited to just get into the new place and we had to wait for ages we had invited all of our mates round to the new place because Katty was getting here first because she was moving separately and everyone arrived before we did and then also on top of that we fucking deduced that we think that he's the one that gave us bed bugs because me Kath and Jake were the ones that used the moving van and me Kath and Jake were the ones that were like mainly affected by it so it was so annoying because it was like oh my god we finally got this stress off of us like we finally moved and it's like a cute house a garden and then it was like oh yeah you've got bed bugs so like you're not gonna be able to use your clothes for ages because we had to wash everything that we owned dry everything like the landlord got us a dryer so that we could use the dryer to like burn them to death it's just been a couple of months of fucking hell but like not that bad of hell like it's not like something really bad happened it's just been like mundane adult things that have been stressing me the fuck out but like i say we finally moved the bed bugs are gone it feels like now we can finally properly enjoy the place so what have we missed in pop culture whilst i've been gone let's start with the biggest one the fucking colleen ballinger shit all aboard the toxic concentrate Guys, this is crazy and it's so fucking frustrating because she was actually my favourite YouTuber. I had watched her since I was probably like 13, like maybe 12 or 13. How all of this stuff is coming out and it's just crazy. And the apology. She might have been able to bounce back from this because famously YouTubers always bounce back from controversies like this. But she really shot herself in the foot with that fucking apology video. Like that was crazy. It's like when James Charles came on and admitted that he did all of the stuff because he was just desperate. Surely they have teams. Like, why is everyone fucking admitting to be a, a fucking pedo? But yeah, the Colleen stuff is crazy. It's weird. It's almost like I'm having to kind of like go through a breakup or something because obviously I wasn't expecting all of this to happen. So like, there's a part of me that is like still like, no, like she was my favorite YouTuber. Like I really didn't want 
this to happen. Also, the fucking Titanic thing. Like, I know that a lot of this is old news, but we haven't caught up in a while. Obviously, I know that what actually happened, like, was really tragic, but Twitter was, like, when you actually think about it, it was fucking crazy. There was these people going through this scary thing, and Twitter was just being really funny about it. But do you know what? No, actually, I won't say that, because I'm like, can we get some <laughs> I'm actually running a little bit behind, so I probably should fucking hurry the shit up. But I mean, today I'm not doing anything crazy. I am literally just doing my boring ass makeup. I might put a little bit of pink somewhere. Because obviously I'm seeing black pink. Oh my god, I'm so fucking excited. I think I'm going to vlog it, so you'll probably see it soon. I did actually ask a while ago on Instagram for some questions that I was going to do in this video. Oh, okay. So someone asked, are you slash did you see Twice in concert? I haven't yet, because they're coming to UK in September, but we did get tickets. I'm so fucking excited. They're genuinely my favourite group. Saw so Red Velvet a couple weeks ago. That's a fun little update. They absolutely slayed. Joy wasn't there, which is like kind of sad because Joy's like, I think my favourite. I think she wasn't feeling well. So get well soon, babes. Seeing Red Velvet just made me so fucking excited for Twice because it was such a good concert, but like Twice are my bitches. So like, I'm so fucking excited to see that. Obviously I'm seeing Blackpink today. Oh, oh my God. And we're also going to see Esper. It's like a full, just like K-pop takeover. Oh my god, someone said, how are you finding life in general? Going through it and need some advice, Vesti. Oof. When you asked this question, I was also fucking going through it. I mean, obviously, like I've mentioned, now that life has gotten better, <laughs> I'm enjoying it more. <laughs> someone asked me how I know Jack Edwards, and you know what? I actually couldn't tell you. There's quite a few friends that I know, like, from the internet and through YouTube and stuff. I mean, that's the short answer. It's just from the internet, but I can't specifically remember, like, when Jack and I started being, like, friends. I'd say probably 2017, maybe 2018 or something like that. Oh, someone asked me if I stand any boy groups or if I am just a girl group girl. I do like some boy groups here and there, I like TXT. I obviously like BTS, but that's like quite a basic answer, I guess. To be fair, I do actually like quite a lot. I like in Hypen, I like AT's, Got7, Seven, Seventeen, that's all I can think of right now. But I guess I'm not necessarily like a stan of all of those groups. I just like quite a few of their songs. <laughs> someone said, can you post more, please? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Coming out story. Oh, well, I actually actually did a video, so I'll just link it, because I was actually outed in school, which kind of sucked. And yeah, I kind of explained in that video how I came out to like everyone else in my life as well. That's good. Love when that happens. It's getting louder now. Shut up. Oh, someone just asked, uh, like, an update with, like, my gender. I think being non-binary is, like, quite a... The whole point of it is kind of, like, you don't really have a gender. So I feel like I'm just, like, taking it day by day. I would say it's kind of, like, fluid. Because there's days where I want to be perceived as a boy. And then there's other days where I don't really want to be perceived as, like, having a gender. That's where, I, like, where I'm at with it. Because obviously everyone's experience is different. And, like, my whole thing is I don't feel like a man or a woman. That's why I'm just kind of, like, I feel like I don't really have a gender. Gender. I still use he him pronouns if anyone was gonna ask and I still use like kind of male terminology to a certain extent I don't like being called a man. That's not how I feel if they were like boys versus girls I would still be like oh, yeah, cuz I'm like a boy I obviously like famously take the piss out of everything So I'm constantly just like making jokes about it and stuff like my friends will be like oh man I'll be like what when I'm in makeup and stuff though Like I don't want to be perceived as a woman. It's not like I'm trying to look like a woman I'm just kind of not really trying to look like anything. I just want to be pretty and I just don't really attach a gender to it. Like, I know that I look kind of feminine. I think that's what it is. Like, I think I relate more to, like, feminine and masculinity and, like, kind of go between those. Most of the issues that I ever have come from other people, like, maybe not understanding it and obviously just, like, slagging it off on the internet because the internet is a fucking hellhole right now for trans people and, like, queer people in general. Did you hate any of your friends before you became friends with them? That's interesting because I feel like that's actually quite a common thing isn't it oh me and my friend Grace I didn't hate her but she didn't really like me when she first met me I met at like someone that we used to be friends with's house she'd obviously heard a lot about me through this other friend and it was the first time she met me and I was like quite drunk and I think I was just being really annoying so I understand why she wouldn't like me but we're obviously like really really good friends now but I guess that's we didn't hate each other like I was just annoying so she didn't have a good first impression of me oh I was actually kind of rude to her when I first met her but it's because I had just moved down for uni and I didn't really have any friends and I still had like essentially a lot of internalized homophobia because I came out when I was like 15, I think, 15, 16, to a town that essentially had no other gay people in it. I was used to being the only gay in the village. Very much like big fish in a small pond vibes. And then when I moved to uni, I mean, I didn't move somewhere where there was loads of queer people, but there was more and yeah, had internalized homophobia. So just like was essentially kind of scared of like other gay people and other queer people 
and stuff like that. So Ravara and I sat close to each other in a class that we had. She was like, oh, I love your nails. Like, where did you get the polish? And I just kind of was like, I don't know, like boots. Again, I just had so much internalized homophobia. I mean, I guess I was just a bit rude, <laughs> but we laugh about it now, obviously. I really need to get on with my makeup. So I'm actually just gonna go off, finish it off, and then I'll come back and maybe chat a little bit more. Finish my makeup. I need to put my lip gloss on, but I'm gonna do that in a little bit because I need to eat something. But ooh, I am running really late. This is how I look. Obviously it's like black pink. So I did like a little graphic neon kind of eyeliner thing, which by the way, if anyone thinks that this like looks like it'd be difficult, I swear, honestly, all I did was put like pink eye eyeshadow on and then draw a white line and I use the P Louise like eyeshadow base it honestly makes it look like you've tried really hard but it genuinely took me about 10 minutes so yeah why am I picking my nose on camera cool lovely catch up guys see you later bye